Hey guys, it's Annie here with Universal Parks News today and we are back at the Universal Orlando Resort to see what's new. And obviously, as you can see behind me, the new Jurassic Park Tribute Store facade is up and I am super excited. It is going to be opening next weekend. Let's take a little closer look. I'm so excited. <laughs> It's hard to believe that Jurassic Park is celebrating its 30th anniversary this year and the summer tribute store is themed around the movie. It is going to be around the making of Jurassic Park, which is kind of exciting. I mean, we already do have a Jurassic Park here at Islands of Adventure. A behind the scenes look at one of the most amazing motion pictures of all time. I can't wait. Next up, let's take a look at Minion Cafe. Yesterday we got a very big announcement which had new concept art, had preview of the food, all sorts of things. So if you haven't seen that, check that out over at UniversalParksNewsToday.com. But you can really start to see the building taking shape here. This is where the Minion Cafe sign will go. Cafe is right under that tarp. I think I pointed that out before. But now all the scrims have come down on the side of the building so we can see a lot more. So we've got an area where we're gonna have pop a nana, freeze ray pops, bake my day. There's going to be a mobile express window. Lots of cool stuff. So I'm actually starting to get really excited for this. Right underneath the cupcake, there's going to be bake my day. And there's also going to be a new illumination theater over here on the side of the building. And you'll be able to meet characters from Despicable Me as well as Sing. So some new character meet and greets coming with all this Minion Land. I'm going to zoom in a little and get you a closer look. The concept art released yesterday also gives us an idea of what we can expect to see on the side of the Transformer building that's been painted blue. So I'm kind of looking forward to that. Villain Con doesn't look too much different, but we do have more information, including that there is no height requirement for the attraction, as well as you'll be able to keep your score and compete against other people. And again, more information all over at UniversalParksNewsToday.com. There's also going to be a Minion Land marquee at the entrance, which I would guess will be behind, well, I'm guessing it's going to be where these construction walls are. And it is supposed to be a 22 Minion marquee welcoming you into Minion Land. So I would guess that's where I would put my Minion Land marquee if I had one. If you're a Starbucks fan like I am, You'll want to know that this location is going to be closing soon. They'll be remodeling and it will be moving to a new temporary location. The temporary Starbucks location will be located inside Cafe La Bamba, right next to the bar window. The platform that's set up in the lagoon is starting to be removed. You can see they're taking up the pieces already. It's probably a good sign. Maybe we'll get a nighttime show for the summer. Construction walls are still up around the entrance of the ET Adventure, but the pre-show is back. So that's awesome. The entrance on the right side of Universal Studios Florida has reopened and the entrance on the left side is now behind construction walls.
Here's a look at those walls from the inside. The snack stand is still open and the exit is still in the same location. Inside Islands of Adventure in the trading company, there is a brand new Loki Loungefly backpack and wallet. Let's see, it says Master of Mischief on the back. It's got like some kind of glittery accents to it. Really shiny on the front. It's $85. There's a matching wallet here as well. Really shiny, really nice. Um, you can see there's the older version here. So if you're not really into the shine, there's an option for you too. Here's a look inside of the wallet. It's got some card sleeves, a zipper, and it is $55. Well, interesting find here at Ocean Traders. They have Jurassic Park merchandise. All right. Nothing new though. I have a feeling all the new stuff will be in the tribute store. The character meet and greet location in Marvel is closed. The characters are still out and about in the land meeting, but as you can see, there are curtains in here. Now this used to be the boutique, which then changed to photos for the characters but I believe it is being connected to the comic store right next door. I think they're expanding the comic store and I'll show you guys why. So as you can see inside the comic store, there is a curtain up here as well. It looks like the wall might have been removed to connect the building next to it. And so I think this is going to be expanded. Stay tuned. The construction walls in Toon Lagoon have been removed. But the Popeye statue is still missing. Will he return? Stay tuned. Oh, Toon! <laughs> Get it? <laughs> well, wherever you are, Popeye, I hope you're taking care of Marmaduke, because he's missing too. There's a Jurassic World bubble wand. Uh, this is actually a bubble wand we have seen before that was Jurassic Park. It's just kind of been repackaged, relabeled for Jurassic World. And it is $27. And it lights up. And, let's see. Oh yeah. And Velocicoaster is delayed. Looks like an extended delay. Just a quick operational update. If you're planning a visit next month, Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey will be closed on June 8th for some routine maintenance. The attraction is scheduled to reopen the following day, but if you're visiting on June 8th, just be aware that the Forbidden Journey will be closed. We be really forbidden that day. I forgot to mention this last week, but the construction walls are down and the Hogsmeade stage is back open, so the shows are happening again. Only a 75 minute wait for Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure. And that's even considering that Velocicoaster is down. There's some new merchandise here in the All Hallows Eve boutique. I love this print. And there is a mug. This honestly might be one of the best shirts I've ever seen. Amazing. More shirts from the Halloween <laughs> Shirt Company. If I wasn't saving my money for the Jurassic Tribute Store, I would be in trouble. This merchandise is amazing. There are still Poseidon's Fury shirts available, if you're looking. Still no construction walls at Poseidon's Fury. 
but it's looking a little dry. Most of the water is gone, but there's still a little mist over there in case you missed it. I made the mistake of looking down here. Oh, yikes. Just a quick stop into City Walk to see what's new here before we head out for the day. There is a lot of new Quidditch gear here. There are different shirts, patches, hats lanyard keychains and pins for each house they're really pretty they have the letter of the house on the sleeve there's adult sizes and children's sizes and obviously slytherin is the best And as always, you can find prices and photos of all of this merchandise over on the website. And I think since our last visit, the fan is new. Would have been a really good day to have one of these. I gotta give a huge shout out here to whoever fixed the speaker in the Legacy Store. It's had a rip in it but it looks much better. I love it. Bonus points for you if you know who this is or what attraction it's from. Well, that's it for our visit to the Universal Orlando Resort today. I'm hot, I'm tired, I'm getting out of here, but thanks for watching guys. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe, all that good stuff. Next week we'll have the full tour of the Jurassic Tribute Store. Lots of exciting things and stay tuned for updates on Minion Land, all that good stuff. I'll see you next time. Bye.